Apples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Benning versus Bodine. You all have been dating for two years. You were engaged, but you've put this relationship on hold because you believe that she's cheating on you. Yes, sir. Why are you here today? Um, honestly, I've always wanted a family of my own. Uh, my mother passed away when I was 14 years old, and it just left me like, real lost, real lonely. And so I've, one thing I've always wanted is a kid, you know? And uh, I met Kayla, and I just thought I was the one, you know? Yeah, I had a baby, and I just felt like finally that hole, I filled it, you know? I had a family again. That's what I wanted. I can hear it in your voice, the emotion that you have tied to this particular moment in time. And so your family is everything to you at this point. Oh, yeah. I don't have much, so... She's what I got. <laughs> and so this thing that you've wanted is on the line because you believe Miss Bodine is cheating. Yes. Miss Bodine. He's put it all in your... in your hands. He's saying you are his world, your family. Are you cheating? No, Your Honor. And why are you here? Because I want to save my relationship. I want to prove that I am not cheating. He makes me a better person. Like, he's my world. All right. Well, you've been together. You were happy, obviously, at one point. You even got engaged. <laughs> but now it's on hold. What went wrong? Well, <laughs> five months ago, like I said, the baby was born. I received a text message while I'm in the hospital. I'm sitting across from Kayla, who's in labor. I received a text message from a guy telling me that the baby is not mine. That, that Kayla has been out, she's been sleeping with him, that she's been playing us against each other. I'm in the hospital with her. What do you do when you get this? If, what, I mean, what's going through your mind? It just felt like somebody was trying to take something from me that I worked so hard for. And I mean, it, it's still, when I think about it, it's just really, it gets to me, it upsets me a lot. Because you wanted this family. <laughs> I, I still want this. You never even heard that there might be another guy somewhere. No, I had no clue. I thought I was the one. I'm the one, you know, paying for everything. We're living together. We both got jobs. Like, I, how was I supposed to know this child doing something else? I had no clue. What do you say to Miss Bodine when you get this message? I confronted her about it. I showed it to her. I said, you know, do you know this guy? Are you sleeping with him? I was told that she slept with him back in the past while we were not together, but that she hadn't even talked to him recently. She knew nothing about it. She told me that he was trying to start problems between us, that he wanted her back. Miss Bodine, is this a gentleman you had been with in the past? Yes, Your Honor, why we was broken up last year. I have not talked to this man since July of this year while we was on a break. I have never talked to this man why me and Mr. Benning was together. So why is he texting your boyfriend, your fiance, saying that the baby you are literally getting ready to deliver is his? He wants to be with me, Your Honor. He's trying to get us to argue so he can break us up and have me, and I don't want that. So this ex is still has feelings for you? Well, I think it's because he's still yes. messaging constantly. <laughs> Okay. You're saying he's messaged beyond this, this one oh. when she was in labor? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, tell us about that. Well, I was at work, and I get a random message from the same guy. He sends me a screenshot, just messages, messages, whole full conversation between them two. We was not together, Your Honor. I actually have one of the messages here with me that he sent. And at the time that he had... Ron, could you These messages, we was not together, Your Honor. We was not together. We was having a rocky spot in our relationship. I don't care, rocky cold. spot or not. We have a baby. We are together. Mm -hmm. So you believe you were on a break. You say you were never on a break. But she was still your one and only. Yeah, and she, she knew that I wanted my family. I've always told her before the baby was born, she's supposed to have her mother and her father together at all times. That's what a family is. All right, so the message you handed up to us... This is a screenshot that was sent to you by the same gentleman From who hospital. claimed that the baby that Miss Bodine was having, this is the same gentleman. Same guy. It starts with Miss Bodine. She sent the text. When you coming back, I'm horny. And he responds, we still out here, I don't know. But I want daddy's blank. Miss... We was not together, Your Honor. How can you break up with somebody 
and accuse him of cheating when we're not together. So we you were admit, not together. You admit being with this man? Yes, last year, why we was broken up. I got these messages two months ago. But you believe they were sent just recently? I was at work. I received them just recently. And so it, you still think she's being intimate with this gentleman? Yeah, I do. Based on this message? Yeah. Are you being intimate with this gentleman? No, I don't even know where he's at, Your Honor. I sit in the house all day. I haven't seen nobody where he's You asked him when he was coming back. Two months ago. I have not talked to him. Two you told ago. me not to talk to him. Have I talked to him? I, I did have tell not. you not to talk to him. I but have it not. Doesn't depend, it doesn't matter two months ago, three months ago. I don't care. Your daughter's five months old. Okay, well, I have not you talked to him. You should be talking to yes, her Yes, I dad. made a mistake. Her dad. Yes, not but that I have dad. not talked to him. So, in spite of being in the delivery room five months ago, anticipating your baby, receiving a message from another man claiming that that baby belongs to him, you have stayed with Miss Bodine. Yeah. Tell me why. Like I've been saying this whole time, I want my family. I, I, I want to have that. I want to have that coming home, you know, your mom's helping you with your schoolwork, you know, you want to have dinner, we'll all sit down together at the table. That, I, I want that. That's what I want. That's what That's I've been your working dream. for this whole time. Yes. I want the white picket fence. Do you have any other reason to believe that Ms. Bodine is cheating? Uh, well, about a month ago, we got into a small argument over something stupid. I, I really don't even remember what it was about. Okay. Um, we ended up, you know, arguing a little bit. She tossed her phone at my chest, to hit me in the chest, and she left the house. So, me being depressed, said, I go through the phone. I'm seeing emails, text messages from all types of guys, and once again, it's the same disturbing messages that she sent that guy. And these are the multiple, multiple are, guys, not are, just one. The, and they are different from this first guy? Yes, they're different. Oh. They're different. Ron, would you hand one of those, please? Thank you, sir. And the messages he's showing you was from August when we was not together. We was broken up. Not all of them are from August. We was uh, Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look up. at these messages. This is from one gentleman, and it says, text me, and it gives a phone number. And then there's a second one from June where Miss Bodine says, text me, baby. And she was living with me in June. And so the next one says, I want a blank. And then the final message... Then there's message. another one, <laughs> and this is from July 16th, to a different person... June, July, that says, August. I like to blank. I want to get blank and please you. Now, you don't deny sending these text messages. You're no. saying it was because you all were broken up. We was broken up. We was in a rocky spot. I don't care. I can care. do whatever that, how is that I want if we was broken up. How is that you not do wrong? whatever you want while we were broken up. Why can't I? Who have I... What makes it different between you and I? Nothing. It makes a big difference when you have what a baby makes, and you just... What makes it different? Whatever. You haven't had sex with anybody else. You haven't. Well, these text messages... You're it's it's talking. talking. It's talking. Talking and doing is two different things. Am I right? Well, no. here's, here's the problem. <laughs> talking and doing something... Talking and with, acting on it's not okay. two different things? You're completely wrong. When you're with somebody, you do not do that. We were not know, together, it, so how yes, we are, No! We've been together since no. April when that baby was born. Mr. Benning, just so the court is clear, yeah. you believe because of these text messages from June, July, and August mm -hmm. that she is, in fact, cheating? I do. And, Ms. Bodine, you say that you have not been with anyone, that this is just talk. The, yes, Your Honor. You have not been intimate with any man other than Mr. Benning since your child has been born. Yes, Your Honor. But I gotta tell you, the talk that you're having, <laughs> he has a reason to believe... Yes, he does, Your Honor. I don't deny that. Mr. Benning, I see that you brought a witness with you. Yes, sir. Uh, would you have the witness... Would you stand up to the podium, please? Would you state your name, please, for the court? Uh, yes, Your Honor. My name is Anna Russo. Ms. Russo, what is your relationship with Mr. Benning? Uh, his brother is my husband. So he's, like, my best friend, my brother. Like, I love him to death. And what do you know about Mr. Benning's and Ms. Bodine's relationship? Well, I met Jermaine after Kayla was already pregnant. So that's when I was introduced to him. So through the end of the pregnancy, 
to since Robin's been born, I've seen it all. I've seen everything that they've gone through. I've had to sit here and listen to Jermaine cry because he's so upset about everything that's going on. I've heard, I've sat there for hours just having him vent to me because he wants his family and he doesn't have it. And yeah. it's, it's heartbreaking. I don't want to see him go through this because he deserves way better than that. And we hear the heartbreak in his voice. What have you witnessed and experienced? A lot of their fights, a lot of their arguments. I, when he was going through the phone, finding all this stuff, I was sitting right next to him. And he was genuinely hurt and disturbed by what he found. Yeah, <laughs> I was. Because he believed, and it's your understanding, that they were in a relationship, yeah. an exclusive relationship. Yeah, and it's like when you get when he got mad and he'd tell her to leave because you gotta you gotta walk away from stuff just to cool down. Miss Bodon has testified that she has not had sex with anybody else since the child was born. What do you know or believe in that regard? I believe she's lying. I'm from the messages that you see, from just everything that we found. This is from... our business. This is the whole reason why we're here. Because he wants to listen to his friends and not me. This is all he does, is listen to his friends. Why can you not have a mind of your own? It's so not your even belief... about listening to yes, friends. At this is. point, it's nothing about listening to friends. It's about this know. message that I'm staring at do? right because... now. That is not a friend that I'm listening to. That is you that I'm listening to. That is you on that message. It is. Ms. Russo, thank you for your testimony. If you'll have a seat. Mr. Benning, would you please tell Ms. Bodine what is in your heart? I can hear it, but I don't think she hears it. I, I mean, I don't see how she don't get it. Kayla, you know I love you to death. I always have. I told you that the first time we met. I wanted to have your kid. We have a kid together. We've been raising her. And I don't understand why you have to do this. What is... That's just wrong. Why should I not be upset? I mean, you have a right to be, but then you really don't because we wasn't together. I want this to work. I want my family. I want the same thing you do. If you wanted this to work in June, you would have stopped. But yeah, you kept going in July. And then there's one from August. Dig deeper. I might find one from September. Who knows? And if you find out she's cheating, what is that going to do for your relationship? I'm, I'm done. I can't keep putting myself through this. I'm getting old. I'm stressing. I'm crying. I'm shaking. I, I can't keep doing it. If she's cheating, I'm done. Completely. So, you believe that cheating is if she's had sex with some man since your child was born? Yes. And if you should find out that that has occurred, you're done. I'm done. There's not a doubt in your mind, however, that you have not cheated. Right. And that's what you're here to prove. Mm-hmm. But you understand... But it's it... not cheating if we wasn't together. But he's saying you all have been together for the last five months. But we haven't. We took a break. Whose but idea is... was it to take a break? His. Because he's saying you weren't on a break. We was. You just left. You yes, threw your I... phone at me and you left last yes, month. I you left. did that. I you didn't do that. Leave. You had the baby in the car seat and my clothes packed Did I up. take you home? You was wanting did to. Did I take you home? No, you left. I did leave. Okay. That's my point. And now this is all on the line. All of it. And I hope she knows that you messed it up. To get to the bottom of this, the court ordered Miss Bodine to undergo a polygraph examination. And we have those results. But Miss Bodine... Before we go to the results, is there anything that you want to tell this court and Mr. Benning? That I love you and I want to be together. I want to put this behind us. I love you, too. Yeah. Now, but if you've been cheating, yeah. I can't put that behind me. You testified... I put you behind me. Ms. Bodine, you testified that since your daughter was born, you have not had sex with any other man. Is that what you are telling this court? Have you had sex with any other man since your daughter was born? Now's your time to come. On our in. break, yes, I have. How many men? Two. Oh. Okay, okay, you know what? Every, wait a minute, every, wait a minute. No. What is wait. a break? Wait, 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 wait. What is a break? Wait. Me too? You too. <laughs> yeah. Because I got to have some mama talk up in here. You are playing word games. 
own your mistake. Stop saying I was on a break. You were with two men after you had a baby with this man. Period. <laughs> Mr. Benning, tell her how you feel. You slept with another guy while I was taking care of our daughter. And I don't want to have anything to do with me anymore. Period. Ms. Busco Dye, you hurt him and you hurt him. What do you have to say to him? Wish your decision was different, but I do love you. I can't make my decision any different. I can't. Mr. Benning, Ms. Bodine, you have this beautiful baby together, and she is the interest you have to protect. To do that, you have to be respectful of each other, because it's not about you. It's about her. <laughs> for sure. Well, she's the lady in my life right now. I'd do anything for her. With that, as we say in this courtroom, everyone is entitled to a healthy, happy relationship. I wish you the very best. Court is adjourned.